It is that time once again. We have a new deck of Lorcana cards called Shimmering Skies that just came out. And we have to go through and look at all the artwork as I have done. And also there's an overarching story connecting all of the decks so far. And if you want to know that story, that video has been uploaded to the channel as well. So you should definitely watch that video before watching this because we're going to go into a lot more details as the story continues. And if you guys are just curious about the other artwork, you should see the other videos that we made about this, which by now should all be on the main channel. I have to double check on some things, but I'm pretty Pretty sure they should all be here by now. So without further ado, let's go check out these cards. Oh, we got some Brother Bear in this time. All right, all right. Okay, I'm seeing you, Lorcana. I like the fireflies, that's fun. Oh, and of course we got Prince Naveen is one of the leading talent in the show, celebration, whatever they're having in Lorcana. But yeah, the big, I'm gonna call it a party, just make things easier. Oh, cool, is this like all the ribbons and stuff from the celebration and the party? Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, eh? we really know how to party. Eh? <laughs> oh, Kenai, and I like the Northern Lights behind him. Nice. Okay, getting a lot of Brother Bear love. Oh, and of course we gotta have to. Oh, is this one of the ones where the pictures line up? Like if you put Rut and Took together, would it make one long picture? Ah, oh, totally would. I love those. It's a little detail, but I love it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I love Lilo making the cake. <laughs> Oh, I'm guessing this is for the party because I see the balloons and streamers in the back. Oh, that's awesome. Part of me doesn't know if I'd love one of her cakes or be terrified of one of her cakes, but it is adorable. Oh, okay. Vanellope is a car mechanic now. Okay. I love Vanellope's face here. She's just like, that'll be a hundred grand. And I don't mean the money. I mean the candy. <laughs> There's something about his smile. It's just so cute and endearing. I love you, Fix-It Felix. Oh, so it looks like he's going through and fixing the Illuminary. Last we saw, the place was falling apart. So that's cool. Yeah, why do you need to do anything else to fix it? You got Fix-It Felix. He'll fix everything. Ah, and Gazelle is one of the leading acts, too. I love that. Good evening, Lorcana. <laughs> of course, she's got all of her tigers behind her. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the giant golden hand his smug face or like the full-on out outfit he's got on but <laughs> all I see is nerdy Thor and I love it <laughs> oh this is cool I love Kristoff taking care of all the reindeer while everyone are partying I don't know how many people actually have reindeer so I think he's the only one but still he's, he's taking care of the reindeer while everyone gets to go party oh I love the lighting and the, and the and the butterflies that are right in front of Mirabelle here. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Oh, we got Minnie Mouse's drum major. Oh, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Is she going to do the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme with that? It, it, she should. That would be awesome. Oh, I bet Donald won that for you. Big old teddy bear. <laughs> Ooh, we got some lore on this one. Investigate every part of the Illuminary. Find the Chromicons. Restore the Illuminary. How hard can that... Wait, what was that noise? <gasps> what was that noise? I've learned from the last few videos, I really gotta read all the cards, so that way I know what's going on with the story. So I'm guessing a Chromicon is what we saw in the video with Merlin, that thing that he said to get. I'm assuming that's what the Chromicon is, and there's more than one, by the way it sounds, so that's that's kind of what I'm rolling with. Let's go with that. So I bet we're gonna get some hints as to what the next deck is gonna be, who this mysterious villainous character is who is uh, messing with the Illuminary. I love Vanellope like actually dressed as a princess, but it's like her way of being a princess, not the way you saw her at the end of the movie. Oh, yes, Alan and Dale! <laughs> oh, look at him just going to town with his, uh, I guess a guitar or loot, whatever you want to call it, his guitar loot thing. And there's a hit, I never noticed, is there a hidden Mickey in on his guitar all the time? No, okay, that's just for this card. I went and looked it up because I was curious. No, 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 it's just for this card, but that's still cool. I love the hidden Mickey. <laughs> no, look at what he says. Now here's a little ditty for our Floodborne friends that we call Martin and the Flood. <laughs> now that I know the story, I'm getting so much more out of these. Ah, oh, they called Wreck-It Ralph Admiral Underpants. <laughs> Vanellope would be so proud. Oh, Minnie seeing the Illuminary fall apart. We see that giant piece falling behind her. Uh, oh my, is that part of the Illuminary? I have to go help. So yeah, so Minnie was the one who started to see stuff go down. So, oh, that's interesting lore. That's one of the things I wish that since we're, I, I every time I do these, I go in card order. Like if you look at the very bottom left corner, you can see like what number each card is. And I go in order of how the order is. And I kind of wish the story would go in that order too, but they don't, they go out of order, but it's still fun. Oh, I love the try everything. 
Oh, I love all the swirlies back there. We got the magical swirlies. I love those. Oh, I like that for Grandpappy as he's like taking away the memories from Anna. Oh my gosh, the lighting and the swirlies just yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did Mother Gothel get revived? Is Mother Gothel our next villain to get a deck? Oh, that would be epic. I'm, I'm here for Mother Gothel, that's what it is. Oh, I love the blast from the past. Yes, oh. Did Jafar's eyes behind him and all the stuff falling off of Aladdin? Yes! Woo, that's a good one. I love that art right there. Oh. Okay, like here's one of the Chromacons. I don't, I'm not 100% sure what the Chromacons do, but I guess they have something to do with uh, repairing the Illuminary. So we found the Amber one, which is to comfort the weak and the weary. So we've got that one. I'm guessing each color will have its own Chromacon. Ooh, I like the Pride Lancer. I kind of turned my head because it's sideways. <laughs> Wait, is this the game trying to say that the jungle that uh, Simba goes to is still part of the Pride Lands? Because I thought in my Lion King lore that that jungle was outside of the Pride Lands and he had to return to the Pride Lands. Was that part of the Pride Lands? I'm sure I'm reading way too much into this than I need to. It's just a trading card game. They're probably not thinking that in depth as I am. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this Maleficent is so freaking cool! The, <laughs> the swirly pink and the green fire. Just, oh, you can tell she is the mistress of all evil here. I am here for it. The formidable queen. Ooh, the knock again, okay. All under the water, almost like a scheming predator. Like a great white under the water, looking for his next meal at the surface and going, tum, 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 tum. Oh, Cogsworth is the Illuminary Watchman. Step to it, time is of the essence. Is he like leading the charge to go fix the Illuminary? Oh, I'm here for it. There's another hidden Mickey behind him. Merlin gets the swirlies around him as the turtle. <laughs> Now, now, don't rush me, this is important. <laughs> Ooh, Bernie. Ooh, I like this Bernie. He's cute, but also the fire is like engulfing the entire picture, which I think is really cool. A nice juxtaposition. I didn't know how you were gonna make a card around Gale, but this makes sense. I like it. Oh, here we go, we got more of the story. Oh me, oh my, did a piece just fall off the Illuminary? I'm gonna kill someone before it's too late, late, late! So it seems Minnie and the White Rabbit were one of the two that knew about the Illuminary falling apart before just about everybody else. Ah! Madame Mim has got her elephant form! <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, and it looks like she was at the party and she like turned into the elephant because like there, there's party stuff behind. Uh, at least I think this party stuff. Yeah, that looks like where they're doing the big party for the Shimmering Skies. So she like turned into an elephant at the party. But y'all also know me. I'm a sucker for any and all things elephants. So even if it's the baddie turning into an elephant, I still love it. <laughs> oh, Louisa is one of the acts for the party and she's like juggling <laughs> donkeys. Whoa, Anna got like turned into a mystic. Oh, I love that, and she's got the staff and all the magical Arendellian swirlies and her outfit. Yes! Oh, she is the queen of Arendelle. It makes sense, so she's got the scepter and everything. Oh, that is cool. I thought Elsa had all the magical powers, so it's nice to see that Anna gets some now, too. <laughs> Our committee's turned into an electric type. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, I want to know the story behind this one. I mean, it's a Floodborne, so there's probably not a story, but still, that's cool. <laughs> Whoa. Elsa's got some awesome cards through all these decks. I love the floating ice diamonds right beside her. She whoosh with all of her ice magic, and then, like, she's... Whoa, is Elsa doing, like, an Iron Man, like, flying with her ice powers with her hands kind of a thing? If so, that's pretty awesome. I'm here for that. That is cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Genie, of course, is the main attraction. He's doing, like, all these different prejudications and illusions. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me, folks. <laughs> I love he's doing, like, 12 tricks at once. Aw, uh, Olaf and Marshmallow just having the time of their lives. Oh, that's cute. I love the friendship that they've kept up just, like, between the in credits of every movie and, like, short. <laughs> I love her behind the red tape because she didn't get her invitation. <laughs> and now she's gonna be mad at the orange. <laughs> oh, the irony of that is great. I love it. Ooh, Monstro. That's I like I like the water coming off him. That's nice. Wait a second. Magica Dispel has the old trident? Is she like putting it together? 
is she gonna be behind the next deck? I don't know, maybe whoever it is revived Mother Gothel and is now repairing the Trident for Magicka. So maybe it's somebody who's like giving stuff to the villains, maybe? I don't know. Oh, she was denied an invitation. Oh, is this at the par- Oh, this must be at the party. I was about to say, is this in the Illuminary? Ooh, I like the Rafiki. The Shaman Duelist. Oh my gosh, is he fighting with somebody? Who is he fighting with? Whoa. Now Anna can just make stuff levitate? Who is she? What's happening now? <laughs> what is this story? Cause she's a dreamborn, so it makes sense she can do more than in the movie, but is, is this a, 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 a common storyline that's gonna go throughout this deck? I need to know. Oh, for a second there I thought this was Bruno, but it's Camilo. <laughs> because he turned into Bruno. You see Bruno in the back there. Oh, that is cool. The family copycat. I love that. Oh, story, 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 story. Suddenly, Basil felt a strong desire to find the broken crown. Someone hypnotized Basil to find the crown. So was it Basil? That can't be Basil's shadow that we saw in the video because it was too tall. But maybe whoever hypnotized him. So if it's the, if it's the, the staff, it's Jafar. Oh, could Jafar be behind this? <laughs> Oh, I'd love a Jafar pack. Let's. Ooh. Oh, so Iago got the lamp and gave it to Jafar. So did this? So are all these wishes that the genie is granting Jafar again? Ooh. Oh, gathering wisdom and knowledge. Oh gosh, I bet. Oh, I bet this is gonna go badly, isn't it? I just think all this knowledge was under our noses the whole time. We only had to look in the right place. Oh no, and whoever is getting the Hexwell crown is gonna get it all. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I like Aladdin as a boxer and Genie's like in his corner. Cause you know, you got some magic in your corner now, some heavy ammunition in your cam. <laughs> a retrosphere. Okay, that's gotta be something Lorcana based. Maybe that'll get explained more in the story as we go. Oh, here we go. The Amethyst Chromicon. Uh, that one is seek not power for its own sake. Okay, interesting. <laughs> I like this Robin Hood. He's like jumping off the rhino's head and he's like, <laughs> Ooh, Shinzi. <laughs> I like the Shinzi. You guys know I love all the Lion King cards. I'm, I'm not biased at all. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh, I love this little John. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the color and the lighting and the angles. Yes, everything about this I love. I love this. Zazu. Oh, the party must be pretty close to Pride Rock if you can see Pride Rock from here. That's pretty cool. Because it looks like he's at the party and he wants to go spin through the lights. Oh, that's cool. Oh, his performances are unspeakably good. I have to appreciate a good pun when it comes my way, so I must appreciate this good pun. Ed! <laughs> I love how his quote is just... <laughs> And it's just walking away from this flame. Almost like he totally just set everything on fire and just walked off laughing as if there was nothing wrong with this at all. <laughs> oh, look at Flora taking everything Maleficent did and turning it good. Oh, so is that where all the ribbons came from that fell on Rut and Took? That would be amazing if that's what it was. That's awesome. Oh, Meriwether's getting in on it too. Oh, I love the Robin. They have the sheepdog. I don't remember his name, but the sheepdog from Robin Hood, he's just hanging out there behind him. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, this is a, oh, this is all at the party. Cause you can see all the stuff and the, oh my gosh. Oh, that's cool that uh, the sheepdog got invited to the party. I like that. Maleficent didn't, but sheepdog man did. Oh, and of course we got to have Fauna and she gets to make the cake. Nice. Looks a lot better than the last cake they tried to make. Oh, I love that bonsai with the teeth out and then mid pounce going on that zebra leg. Nice. As far as he's concerned, there's no such thing as bad taste. It's true. With Ed, there is no such thing as bad taste. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the hyenas are getting some love. Scroob looks so upset being at the party. He's like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh, and of course, Prince Philip's got to go after the thorns that Maleficent set up. And I guess she turned into a dragon here too. Or maybe this isn't even at the party. It is storyboard. It could just be from the movie. See, that's the hard part I have now. Now that I know how all this works, I'm, I'm gonna be more prone to think everything is based around the story and not just, oh, this was a cool card from the movie. Whereas before it was the opposite. Clarabelle gets a card. Oh, and that's a good card for her too. I like her out there dancing and everything. Oh, that's nice. A very regal honor. I can see this as like a portrait in the Arendelle kingdom. Clarabelle gets another card. <laughs> 
Oh, she is pretty clumsy. Oh, she and Goofy are perfect for each other. <laughs> Bonsai gets another card too? I love the green like illuminating on his face. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. Ooh, this Robin Hood in front of the Illuminator. Yes! Oh, that is so cool! <laughs> Mother Godfall didn't get an invitation either. A beautiful lady never stands meekly at the back of the line. Well, you can stand grumpily at the end of the line, but that's still where you're going. Karen! Oh! <laughs> Golly, those dancers can really move. Is there one in particular you're looking at, Clara Bell? One who's a little... Oh, yeah. Shinji got another card. Ooh! Look at the scheming hyenas behind her. Oh, she looks so treacherous. She is totally the head hyena, though. She absolutely is. Which is fun, because if we're going by actual hyenas, they do behave in a very matriarchal way. So the females are the biggest and the strongest and they lead everything. So that's cool that Disney made that little, uh, that, that, that made sure she was the leader. That's cool, I like that. Whoa, Mother Gothel. Are you the villain or are you going to a gala? <laughs> Gosh, dang, okay. <laughs> I like the scar scratched out the Simba symbol behind him. His quid pro quo, if you will. Oh gosh, Basil's hypnotized! A security device, easily defeated of course. Once I make room for the crown, I can bring it to him. Him, him, it's dude! Oh, I'm betting you it's Jafar, I'm betting you it's Jafar, I'm betting you, betting you, betting you, betting you, I'm betting you it's Jafar! I don't know why I sang that. Whoa, the Night Howler Rage? Oh, that's cool. All the animals that she like messed up with the night howlers from the movie behind her. Oh gosh. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that is that's that's just classic Maui. That's just a classic Maui card. <gasps> ah! I love the Mufasa! Yes, I don't know why he's green, but I don't care. That's so stinking cool. Prince John's mirror! <laughs> And then you'll break it, get seven years bad luck, and then, oh, mommy. The Obscura Sphere. Okay, there's a lot of these uh, items that are like all based around Lorcana. I still don't know what they are. I'm sure they'll be important to the story at some point. If not now, I should probably go look more into that. Okay, there's the Emerald Chromicon. That one is Trust in the Winds of Change. Is this them hinting that, <laughs> that Monsters, Inc. is coming because of that one lie? <laughs> If that was them hinting that Pixar was coming in, oh, that would be awesome. I'd be here for it. Ah, the tropical rainforest has got like the jaguars from the person who groove. <laughs> wow, Wreck-It Ralph, are you like making some of the fireworks by just smashing giant jawbreakers? That'd be funny if that's what he was doing. Oh, Maximus. Oh, was he, he was playing tug of war. <laughs> Oh, well, I take it he won. Oh, I like this turbo with him like as King Candy and Turbo like at the same time. Oh, oh apparently there was a food fight and Donald's ready to go. <laughs> He's the pie slinger. <laughs> Ooh, I like the, I like the softness of this scar, which is weird. You don't think that softness with the lighting and the colors would be what you want for a villain, but I don't know, I'm kind of digging it here. <laughs> I love how Daisy's in the food fight too and she doesn't have anything on her and she's just walking around. Boop. She's the spotless food fighter. Oh, I love Mickey's get up here. He looks so fancy. Oh, and he loves to share the spotlight with a star like Minnie. Uh. Whoa, Radigan, holy crud. I don't know, at first I thought this was like an older version of him because when I first saw his face, he looked like whiter, like his hair. Yeah, his hair is totally white. Like instead of being black like it was in the movie. Oh my gosh, is this like old Radigan now? Oh, that's awesome. He's like raging even like his 80s. That's what it feels like. Pete again, but it's like Steamboat Willie Pete. I just love when Pete gets attention. He doesn't get enough attention in my opinion. Oh, Gaston is in the boxing ring is he fighting against aladdin because aladdin was over there with genie oh that's hilarious if they're boxing with genie on the side oh gas on you're gonna lose boy <gasps> another pete and of course yeah he just ran all the food i, I don't blame him there i probably would have done that too oh yep that teddy bear that daisy had donald totally won it for her this is where he did it radigan the party crasher no no there's no is radigan behind all this no no, is he? Oh, I love this Simba. <laughs> oh, that one is cool. I love all the red around him and like the light. I, I, they're not lightning bugs. What are they? Whatever it is, it's cool. Oh, this one goes with the dancing Mickey. They go together. It's like the same picture again because you can see all the, the people behind and oh, that is cool. 
Evil comes prepared, but not prepared enough, Scar. Oh, I love that mid-jump Scar and Simba turning back and about to just tear him a new one. Yes! Arm wrestling Hercules and Hades! Yes! Oh, Glimmer versus Glimmer. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Listen, kid, if we're getting banished back to the lore book, you're going with me. We'll see about that. We're getting banished back to the lore book? That can happen? Oh, that's that's new. I didn't know that. Who's with me? Don't forget, the purple unicorn is mine! <laughs> and remember, the beast is mine! Don't forget, the purple unicorn is mine! <laughs> I love... Between this and, like, Disney Dreamlight Valley, I love how just ridiculous they've made Gaston. He's just a moron and I love it. <laughs> so here's the Ruby Chromicon. Leave fear behind. Okay. All right. I wonder if these inscriptions will mean something as we go. Hey, I like this King Candy. He is in charge. He knows what's going on and all will bow to his whim. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Chuck pointing at her teeth. I love it. I wish they had the thing of her like <laughs> with a tooth. <laughs> I just love the fact they gave Chaka a card. Ooh, we got more story. Let's see. Uh, she'd seen what the ink could do for other glimmers. What could it do for her? Oh, what, 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 do, what do Queen do? The secret room should be right here. Ugh, I cannot believe I paid a whole penny for this map. <laughs> oh, he must be going through the Illuminary trying to look for the Chromacons with everybody. Of course I'm on the list. Check on the PJ. <laughs> I love how none of the villains got an invitation. Well, not all of like Gaston made it in. So what villains didn't get invited? Oh, and he's totally bribing. I missed that. He's totally bribing them. <laughs> yes! Bermuda Merlin! I don't know why, but I love him in this getup. It's just, I love it. It's so much fun. Pacha. Oh, wait, what's that beside him? What is this thing beside him? Can someone tell me in the comments, what is that Pacha has? Oh, is this what she turned into after the hag went into the ink? Oh, dang, because it is Floodborne. She's a Floodborne. The Sheriff of Nottingham. I love that they made his, his secondary tagline, Bushel Bridges. <laughs> oh, Chi Chi got a card too. Nice. <laughs> I like all the gold flying around Prince John. I can't tell if he's doing that to himself to make it rain and just sit there and does this or Sir Hiss. He, he makes Sir Hiss do it. Whatever it is. I like it. It's cool. Whoa! The Queen Crown of the Council. How many? What? Maybe, maybe the queens all got together, all the different uh, queens, and they're like scheming something, and they got like Jafar and Radigan and all these guys on board. Ooh. Oh, there's story happening, there's story happening. Cusco just goes under the rope. He's like, uh -huh, of course I'm invited. <laughs> <laughs> Mufasa! Mufasa! Oh my gosh, I love this Mufasa! This one goes up there with like Sorcerer Winnie the Pooh as one of my favorites. Oh, with all the water and like the, the water rose petals around him and the swirlies! It's the magical swirlies, you guys! <laughs> Ludwig von Trick. You'll see there is a dark void at the edge of Lokana, a complete absence of electromagnetic radiation. What's it made of? I don't know. The light's just gone, kaput. Oh, so there's a dark void at the edge of Lorcana. Oh, so maybe it's like a black hole or something? But I guess whatever that is might be disrupting what's happening within Lorcana and what's breaking the Illuminary. Oh, interesting. All right, we'll keep an eye out on that. I'm sure that's gonna be important later. Oh, Minnie's getting in on this food fight. Oh, but she made a dadgum catapult. Oh, that's awesome. I like the lighting on this basil. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I like it. Whoa. Oh, we got King Candy at the end of the movie where he turned into like a half cyborg, half King Candy. <laughs> Ooh, is this Indiana Duck? Is that what we got here? <gasps> Tanana. Tanana gets a card. I have a soft spot for Brother Bear, you guys. It may not be the best Disney movie out there, but it is definitely an underrated one. It, it needs some more love. And I'm glad that it does look at the magical swirlies. Depot! <laughs> Mom, Mom, I think I'm still growing. Measure me again. 
Oh, uh, Emperor's New Groove is also one that doesn't get enough love. I mean, it's a cult classic now, but I still think it needs more love than it gets. Whoa, I love how they... Belle is just Belle of the Ball. That is amazing. Oh, wow. Her party dress. Dang. Okay. This Belle is awesome, y'all. Merlin, the intellectual visionary. I love this getup that, that Merlin has with like the, the I, 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 that thing on his hat that's like sucking up all the magical swirlies. Oh, that is just so cool. Vision of the, oh, we got more story. We must repair the luminary before it's too late will need these devices, these chromacons, to fix it. Okay, that is totally how it works. All right. Also, I guess the card before he was getting the vision and now he's relaying the vision to everyone that they got to find the chromacons and fix the illuminary before it's too late. Royal tantrum. I am king, king, king. <laughs> Prince John, he's a great villain. I love him. Oh, I love this card. Oh, I love the swirlies around them and they are so in love and oh, that's so good. Oh, I, this is more story stuff. So it looks like Flora Fawn and Meriwether are taking all these artifacts we've been finding and they're hiding them. What does this mean? Is, are they trying to hide it for more villains? Are the villains gonna do something with this? Ooh, we're getting more story. <laughs> I'll find out. I love it. Oh, he looks so sad, but it's such a good representation of the movie. <laughs> oh, that is a great card. I just want to put up that picture every time I'm just feeling pathetic and just be like, will you please show me some love? <laughs> Ooh, Basil's magnifying glass. I say a piece of the Hickswell crown. Okay, so he found some pieces of the Hexwell crown, but then somebody hypnotized him to just go get the whole crown and what's left of it to him, which I'm still thinking is too far, but we'll see. Now, I've, now I don't know, there's so many stuff, there's so much stuff happening with the villains, I don't know what's going on. Ooh, the Sapphire Chromicon, knowledge is eternal. Okay. Ah, Stitch from Team Underdog. He's not the biggest glimmer on the team, but he still packs a wallop. Oh yeah, he can lift things 10,000 times his own size. It's totally Jafar! Ah, I love it! 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 So I'm calling it now. Next deck is gonna be all about Jafar. Oh, that's cool! That's cool! Whoa! This Simba looks epic. For a second there, I thought the blue that was coming up in front of him was like electricity, like leveling up Simba or something. But even if it's not, that is still stinking cool. I didn't notice the hyenas behind him! Oh! Oh, I love that. These Lion King cards. Y'all! Rudy gets a card! <laughs> the Illuminary can't handle this much groove. We'll have to keep the noise down or it'll fall apart for sure. <laughs> My Rudy voice is terrible, but I love it. <laughs> been turned into a cow can I go home <laughs> oh yep Mickey Mouse had to be in on the food fight he had to be oh my gosh <laughs> oh oh my gosh yeah wasn't one of the wasn't sleepy like in charge of watching the Hexwell crown somebody was guarding it who was very bad at guarding it I'm pretty sure it's him Kronk <laughs> maybe this is a crop god probably not I really should have paid more attention when the wizard guy was talking <laughs> That is such a crunk thing to say! <laughs> but that's definitely not a Chromacon. What is that? Oh, we gotta figure out what this is. We gotta figure out what this is. Who's the boat snack now? <laughs> He's a bodyguard? Oh, he'd be the worst bodyguard ever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but I love his bodyguard uniform, if you can call it that. That is really clever. <laughs> oh, we got Sneezy as a knight too. Are we gonna get everybody as a knight? All the seven dwarves as a knight? That would be pretty cool. Ah, oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> we got Dopey. He's got a giant sword. Why do y'all trust Dopey with that big of a sword? I would not. Ooh, I love the lighting on Namari here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Snow White. She's actually rocking the armor. I'll give her that. Okay, she's all intimidating. All right, all right. Isma didn't get a ticket either. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not on the list? I told you always put me on the list. But Kronk has had a security. 
<laughs> Croc is out of security! And he can't let Yzma in! <laughs> I'll put you on the list, Yzma. Oh wait, I put you on the wrong list. Why do we even have this list? <laughs> Ooh, Grumpy Knight. All right, that's pretty good. I like him. Pete, Pete went all Nacho Libre. Is that a <laughs> Oh, bashful as a knight. I don't trust him to do anything, but he looks pretty good. <laughs> he looks pretty good ready to go as a knight, even though he's going to hide behind everybody, I bet. Happy, he's ready. <laughs> I don't know if the seven doors is the best choice for a knight, but I'm digging their their new uh, their new armor. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that's cool. Simba's got like royal garb. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Doc is the bold knight. All right, all right, I see you, Doc. Oh wow, I love Arthur. Like fully is the king, and his sword looks smaller than Dopey's. <laughs> Even though that's still a pretty big sword. Wait, is Pete the referee or is he fighting? Or is he both? I'm betting by that line, it ain't cheating if you're the one making the rules, is that he is both competing and the ref. Oh, poor little Tink is trying to do tug of war against Stitch. I'm guessing that's against Stitch. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, duck for cover, because they're ducks. Ah. Wars. Who ordered the upside down cake? <laughs> and that's how the food fight began because Goofy just tripped. Oh, so here's the Chromacon for the steel. Uh, strong in will, strong in battle. Okay. Oh, okay. We're in the enchanted cards now. Get ready, y'all. That is a cool Prince Naveen. I love all the colors behind him. Oh, oh, dang. Okay, Vanellope, what are you signing? Is that like your official seal? Oh, that's, that's awesome. I love, I, I, it's the same dress she had before, but that is epic. Whoa, Mother Gothel's getting revived with like psychedelic colors now. Ah, oh, Olaf and Marshmallow and the Snow Geese. <laughs> Whoa, Clarabelle gets an enchanted card. Oh, oh that, that, that is awesome. Yes, oh! Is this our first Lion King enchanted card? I don't know if it is or not. I'm pretty sure it is, but oh dang, that is cool. I love it. <gasps> ah! That awesome Mufasa from before gets an enchanted and it looks even cooler! Yes! I need this card! I need this card! This is the coolest freaking Mufasa card! Cyberbug King Candy! Oh, that is cool with all the swirls around and just these maniacal teeth and yes! The royal tantrum! It's like he's thrown a tantrum for so long he's getting exhausted. <laughs> oh, we got Armor Snow White again. That is a really cool angle. I really like that. Ah, oh, yes, we have King Arthur again. Okay, now I think the sword is as big as Dopey's now. <laughs> All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, don't forget to check out the other Larkana videos so you guys can see all the cards you may have missed while all these videos were going on to Brian Hall Plus. And if you guys want to know more about the story of Larkana, I made a whole video explaining the story that we know so far. You guys can check that out on this channel as well. That just got uploaded too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! And big thank you to all of my Patreons. Without you, this channel wouldn't be what it is today. Thank you so much.